guys, so I just like to make a little guide here on how to do a puzzle. Um, seems like a lot of people don't actually know how to do this. Now, those of you who do, um, you can just exit out of this. But this is for people who do not know how to do a puzzle. So I'm going to show you guys quickly how to do a puzzle in the easiest manner. So let's grab our puzzle from this guy. Um, let me just walk over here so nothing's on screen. Open up your puzzle box, and here's how it's going to go. So, uh, as for me, I use a uh, client called called OS Buddy, so I can just open a picture um, here of the completed uh, puzzle. So that is very helpful. If not, you guys can just Google search the completed puzzle, and that always helps. Okay, so here's how uh, you start. There are three rows that I want you to focus on. First row you must complete, second row you must complete, and then third row you must complete. Once you have the third row completed, this puzzle gets kind of complicated, so you're going to have to pay attention there. Um, so for the first row, we're just going to start out. It's pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, this piece is already in the right position. This piece is already in the right position. Um, so now we just need to get this piece here into the position that it needs to be in. So now that's there. Um, so that was a pretty easy top row. A lot, of, Pretty much everything was in the correct position that it needed to be in. Uh, for the second row now, let's um, let me find the piece. This piece here needs to go here. So this is the pretty self-explanatory. You guys can, you guys all know how to move um, the pieces into position. So until you get to the third part here. Now here's where it gets a little complicated. The set, the last two pieces of the row are the hardest. So the piece that you that goes at the end of the row is what you need to get into the second or the fourth slot of your row and then move the piece that goes into that fourth slot under the last piece so you see here this piece here is supposed to go here and this piece here goes here so now all I have to do is move this piece down move that to the right and then move this up and that's the second row done so now let's do the same thing for the third row as you can see that's in the right position as well so let's just move this back into that position there um, now we need the torso which is right there let's go ahead and throw that up there as such and now we're back into the same predicament so same thing all you have to do is find your last piece for example on this row it's this piece right here that I'm moving that goes at the end so you need to move that into the fourth slot of your row so now that that last piece that goes right there is in the fourth slot, you can move the fourth, the actual fourth slot piece right under that. Uh, I call that sliding it into position. So now you just move this piece right here down, this piece over, and this piece up, and that's your third row completed. Pretty self-explanatory. That's um, the three rows that are the easiest. So now here's where it gets complicated. The last two rows have to be done in such a way um, that because you can't do this method for the last two because it'll just jamble everything up. Um, so for me, actually, my pieces are in good position. Um, so I'm just going to scramble these up to give you guys um, an idea of what I'm I'm talking about here. So let me just there. Okay. So for the last row, these two pieces here, and you do first. So, for example, as you can see here, um, the I'm guessing that's a it's some, I'm just gonna call it a bat um, that the troll's holding. It has to be like this. So these two pieces here have to be right here. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to move the bottom piece into the top row. So this piece right here goes into this position where this part would go, and then all you have to do is just move this over move this down and then you can put those into position just like that so that is that part done now you have to do the same thing for these two as you can see this part here goes right there but this part here needs to go there so we need to move that away so that we have room to put this part right there slide this piece over and then all you have to do is push that down and push that right over um, for example now the last six pieces 
are pretty difficult. What I like to do is I like to follow the same method right here. Uh, this piece and this piece do the same as these. So for example, this I need um, this piece to go right there and this piece to go right there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to push those over, put that in the top row the same way, push that down, and now that piece is in the position that we need it. Um, now all we have to do is put the last four pieces in um, to correct order and there's the puzzle done. So that follows a very specific um, combination. Well, there's a picture that I can link. I'll give you guys the link um, in the description if you need to follow um, a picture that has the rows in correct order in which you are going to do them. Um, but that is the easiest way to do a sliding puzzle. Anyways, I do hope this helped you out. Uh, anyways, I will see you guys in the next video.